our state senator, Kathleen O'Connor Eyes. I know Kathleen was here. We're gonna have Kathleen come up. And uh, I just wanna say a few words about Kathleen. I, we've been very, very fortunate in the Lower Merrimack Valley to have her as our state senator. She's worked tirelessly on behalf of the whole district from Methuen down in where she's gonna be uh, taking on some new adventures. Uh, her and her husband have a new son and she's worked tirelessly. She always takes phone calls. She's a real good uh, person around public policy. She's worked well with all of us and uh, we're going to miss her and uh, we wanna give her the uh, captain's award. Kathleen. Thank you, Frank. Thank you, Julie. I'm still getting used to working with Frank in this capacity because we worked so closely together while he was sheriff, and it was a pleasure working with him. And first and foremost, let me say that this is an honor. I'm not big into recognition, but I do appreciate being among so many friends and neighbors and Newburyport, Salisbury, this whole greater Newburyport area is really one big village, and we know it, and I cherish it. It's a very special place. And I know a lot of people wonder what does a state senator do anyway, so since I'm here at the podium, I do want to let you know that even though I did make a little announcement and I'm going to take a break, I'm still in this role for eight more months, so if my office can be helpful to you, we work on constituent services, which means anything that interfaces with state agencies or a office where you're dealing with red tape, we can help you navigate that. Whether it's the RMV, an issue with a state college, I've got the pleasure of chairing the hearing, the oversight hearing between um, Mount Ida and UMass. Um, <laughs> and um, if someone needs a, a treatment bed, for um, the challenges of addiction. If you have an issue with mass health, we deal with all of those things. Uh, I also work on legislation. If there's a bill that you care about and you want me to advocate for. And then lastly, the state budget. Tonight we just voted on a supplemental budget and the House tonight has finished their deliberations on the House version of the budget. We're gonna take it up in May. So that's the short version of what I do, but it is to serve you, and I represent seven communities, uh, North Andover, Methuen, Haverhill, Merrimack, Salisbury, Amesbury, and my city of Newburyport, and I love it. I've worked to make sure that when people think of what a politician is, they don't kind of wrinkle their nose, because in theory, to be a politician is to be diplomatic and listen and problem solve and it always takes a team. I have a team of amazing people in my office. Haley Klein, my chief of staff, is here with me tonight. A lot of you know her. And I, of course, I saw Mayor Holiday here and I work with all of my municipal leaders as well because it does take a team effort to get anything done. And I just appreciate this opportunity to say thank you. Thank you for the support. I'm absolutely at your service for the balance of my term. And it's also kind of cool to get this award right here because I was looking out at the waves crashing against this building. And when I was a kid, I used to come here to play skee-ball. And you know, if you remember the Matterhorn and the, and the water slide and all those cool things, it's kind of come full circle. And for me, being a politician is really about giving back. You know, our, our heroes are our first responders and our teachers and our nurses and our military and our social workers and the list goes on and on and on. But I read in the paper recently, someone said that politics is a nasty business and I couldn't disagree more. I feel that politics is a nasty business if you're a nasty person. And politics is about people and around here, this is a tight-knit community. It's not about R's or D's or anything like that. It's about trying to move things forward and row in the same direction because in the end, we're all human and we lay our heads down at the end of the night and hope for a better tomorrow. So with that, I'm very, very honored to be here with you tonight and I humbly accept this award.